So drivers always call in wanting to know more about Dynamic before they apply. And one of the questions they ask, are you a small carrier? Are you a large carrier? And my opinion is we're a medium sized carrier. Um, one of the advantages about being a medium sized carrier is that we have the owners here every day still. They're not too big, you know. Um, they come in every day and they are working right along with the rest of us. Uh, we also have enough customers where, you know, they're able to keep up with their equipment. Uh, they have newer trucks within the last couple of years. Um, they take care of their maintenance. And then another advantage I think about being a medium sized carrier is the fact that you're not just a truck number. I know all of our drivers' names, um, names to face, voice to, you know, name. So you're not just lost in the shuffle like a large carrier. I'm not knocking large carriers, I'm not knocking small carriers, but I think we're right there in that happy medium. I like it. It's still, it, you know, it's a somewhat bigger of a company, but it's still got that small family feel to it. Yeah. You know, uh, everybody reaches out every once in a while to check on you, see how things are going. And if I have questions, and I normally get pointed in the right direction to get my questions answered, I uh, had a problem with my pay stub coming in and uh, for a couple of weeks and I finally called this said, yep well get taken care of all right thank you you know it's you know other places that I've worked I've had to pull teeth to get things done that you know just for me payroll wise and uh, I always get a run around uh, to you know over a thousand trucks is to me is a bigger company uh, you know it's with with 200 300 trucks you could still you could still be communicable with Pretty well, all them drivers, that ones that come through here, you know, if you see them, uh, anything, anything past a thousand trucks, them guys usually become a number. Uh, you know, big, big corporations, they just, they don't care about the driver. But here, uh, if we have a problem, we get it taken care of, and usually it's no must, no fuss. I, I was part of a, a group of other drivers from another company that were laid off. We were sold off to another company, which wasn't a very good deal. And I got my layoff notice and that day. I talked to Elena and uh, three days later, I was in orientation and, and adding up. And I, I'm still in contact with some of those drivers and they're struggling. Some of them lost houses. I mean, they're, they're having some major problems. The family atmosphere, I, I'm not a, a mega carrier fan. I mean, they're okay for the time being, but they're not a place I can see myself retiring from. Um, smaller, even when we grow, I mean, I don't think that small company mentality is gonna leave. You know, we, we can probably get as big as those guys, but I don't think that idea of you're just a number is gonna follow. About 300 trucks is in the middle of the road. I mean, a small carrier, and I've grown up around trucks my entire life. My father-in-law he has his own company. Uh, my wife's grandfather had his. Small company, five, maybe 20 trucks. I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Um, larger is when you start to get into the thousands, but that's when you start losing your base and where you forget where you come from. You know, the ability to, if you have an issue, you can have a face-to-face -face conversation instead of sitting there waiting, press one for this person, press two for that person, and then they answer the phone. They don't even know you work there. You know, you gotta give them a number. You got it. you know. I call in and my fleet manager's, what are you doing? I'm calling you. 